Welcome to the start of our next video. We are rushing, 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 fast power walking through Magic Kingdom. You can't run. Not allowed to run. I'll let you know as to why we're rushing so much in a minute. <laughs> We made it with four minutes to spare. Hey. Four minutes. Here we are. That's our virtual queue. Oh, I took wow. a screenshot of it and that'll explain as to why I was in such a rush to get here. <laughs> We're going with to the volume. <laughs> Okay, so just come off Tiana's. We'll tell you about what we think about it in a minute. But we've just come off and we've got this cross penny shop in the shop. So we're gonna get all of them. They're so cool. I love the one with the ear on it. Yeah. When it opened. Yeah, the animatronics on that were really brilliant. Like, there was loads yeah. of them, weren't they? Yeah, and big, big animatronics as well. So yeah, really good and the way the faces move and stuff, it's all 
like the latest technology. There was loads of animatronics for that, all of them, weren't there? Yeah, yeah. Loads of them. So they're definitely not cut back on the amount of animatronics they use. Definitely not. And the theme was spot on for the film. Yeah, it was brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's our first ever time going on it. And I wondered if it was going to be the replacement of Splash Mountain, because everybody loves Splash Mountain. Is it going to be a good replacement? I'm just really happy that they made it as good as what they have done. Yeah. And they've not gone like half-hearted, like replacing Splash Mountain. Like, to me, like they've gone all out for that. Yeah. They I went think, all out they've had to, in the replacement. People were removing Splash Mountain. It, need, it needed to be good to and make people happy. I tell you what I loved as well was that the end scene. They were, it was all of them, like, oh, a yeah, massive really room. Good. Yeah. Massive room of all the characters. And there's loads of animatronics in that. I love that bit. Yeah, yeah, spot on. Snow White for bang on 30 minutes and we've got to Gaston's Tavern for another great value snack and Matt's going to have because yeah. I'm going to like it. You don't like it. <laughs> Put you in your way. Where's your croissant? <laughs> so out of <laughs> We can't get hold of this, can we? Right, it was shut last time we came. <laughs> and she says, we say 20 to 30 minutes. No, 30 to an hour. Okay. <laughs> And then by the time we come back again, they're sold out again. <laughs> so. Okay, should we go get my treat then? And then we'll come back. Yeah, you're all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's go get yours. I think yours would be much nicer, to be fair, in this heat. <laughs> so on this Friday, Big Thunder has been shot since the park opened. And now, Peter Pan's oh. flight is now also short. That's two main rides that no, are now short. The other queue times, not yeah, we've already started seeing that, haven't we? Yeah. So whilst we're going for our next snack, I just said to Matt, let's go see what Haunted Mansion is. You know, it's right here. It says 20 minutes on the app. It says 20 minutes on the front of it, and they're queuing out the ride entrance. So we'll uh, forget that. Yeah, that's. In a minute. That's more than 20 minute wait. <laughs> I haven't seen any more log flumes no. come down Tiana's. I'll just walk for a next snack. Right here. Yeah. So I do have, so after I've thought about it a little bit, I do have one criticism for Tiana's. All right, okay. And for me, personally, I do think the music's loud enough. No, for me, nowhere near loud enough. 
like the songs in it you can you could just hear it and yeah i i want to, i want it like booming i want it like really loud but I, so i do think for me personally the, the music the songs was really turned down low like you you could literally just barely hear it couldn't you just have to do sing you... along louder <laughs> <laughs> do you agree with that yeah, how do you I feel agree. about yeah, that it was, yeah it's really quiet yeah uh, you could make out what song it was yeah but, but only only jokes yeah, like you... it still would have been better a bit louder louder yeah i know we showed you the snack the other day but this is this is my favorite magic kingdom budget snack you get so much for your money it's very refreshing as well isn't it with mm. the pineapple in it yeah I think we're gonna go and get try and get a mat snack after this. Should have baked some more, and then hopefully try and get on some more rides. And then we might be going to Animal Kingdom. Yeah, I think so. After. Yeah, park hop. And there's a couple of snacks we want to try in there. Budget friendly ones. That's got his creme brulee croissant. Uh -huh. Happy now. Hey. Happy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> there are plenty of them in stock this time. So here it is. It's filled with vanilla bean custard. I can't, I, I can't stand cold custard, can I? You can't, can you? Or creme brulee, for that matter. So this, was, this is a nightmare to me. Is it 5 Uh, It's 5 29 not it? Yeah, Plus, something like that, before Plus, tax. But, yeah. yeah. That's messy. That's very nice. Vanilla cream on the inside. It's cold as well. Ew. Very nice. I must have heard it for $5.29 or whatever it was. Brilliant. I'm sure it was $5.29. Oh yeah, look at it. Who's in that? That's a great budget snack, isn't it? You get a lot of your money's worth there. It's very nice. We're all about the best Disney budget snacks, aren't we? Mm. Get a lot of your money. You do. I mean, these two snacks will be bad. Brilliant value. Yeah. We've walked over to Animal Kingdom because we haven't been here yet. And Magic Kingdom, the right times just went a bit crazy, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, jumped right up. So we've come here and we're going to oh, get, yeah. hopefully, some nice budget yeah. party snacks. Yep. And hopefully get on a couple of rides. Hi. So we've just come to the Eight Spoon Cafe, my store in there. Matt is going to have the baked macaroni cheese over full pork and I'm going to have this one. The beef on baked mac and cheese, crispy onions and green onions. And here is the mac and cheese. It's a lot. The full pork's really nice. I'll try mine now. Okay. That's alright. Oh, trying to get a bit of everything. Oh wow, yeah, that's a good chunk. Mmm, that is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. That's great for a Disney snack. My beef, my beef's gorgeous. It's just that like slow cooked beef. You get a ton of meat on it, don't you? Yeah, really nice Watch as well. That. That's a great piece Disney. of meat. Great Disney snack, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too fatty either, this meat. No. Mine's, mine's gorgeous. Well impressed with it. Five minutes to see how long it actually takes. It's currently five past two. This is my favourite ride in Animal Kingdom. I think. Sorry? It's my favourite ride in Animal Kingdom. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's definitely the best one in Animal Kingdom. Let's go find the Yeti. Find the Yeti? Yeah. <laughs>
Coco. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing here when you come off? Oh. I took a 25. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It took 20 minutes to go. Yeah. No. Our next stop for a snack is the Yak and Yeti quick service. Where we've got a chicken fried rice between us. It costs 8 51 And you can also get your three cups of Disney water there. Yeah. So you get a lot, but like, we can easily share this, can't we? Yeah. I said that's a decent portion. Peas in it. The carrot. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. You like that? Yeah, that's really nice. Cool. Yeah. This is a great snack to share. Me and Matt, we can't afford to have expensive meals, can we, in, no. these, in Disney Park no, or Universal? Not. So that's why we're trying to find the best budget snacks to have at the parks. So if you're not sure where Yakin Yet is, quick services, it's just here. That's it next to the Akin Yeti restaurant, isn't it? Yeah, just as you're walking towards Asia. Possibly might head out of the park then yeah, because I think so. the heat is absolutely blistering today. Like, it's not even that sunny today at all, it's been overcast all day, but the humidity has been unbearable today. And how many people have we passed? today and oh, they've, 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 and they've said the how yeah. hot and humid it is today yeah, a lot of people it's today. unbearable today yeah. i'm not sure what's just happened from the time we went on yeti that's 35 there's no way that's 35 we're going all the way around and outside the entrance and just look how busy it is where's everyone come from what about this earlier i don't know Documenting this on camera because I don't think this will be here when me and Matt next come to Disney. No, they'll probably all be fenced off. Yeah. Yeah, I bet they'll put the fences out up here around here. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this so busy. No. <laughs> Every time we've always come to Disney over all these years, there's normally nobody literally nobody in this part is there okay. it's funny how though when you announce that something's going to be closing forever all of a sudden people flock to it yeah you're right we're throwing in the towel guys all the wait times have just gone crazy busy and it's so hot and humid we've been at the parks since nine o'clock this morning yeah. so we're throwing in the towel to Walmart. Yeah, we've got to go to Walmart. We've got to get a few bits, and also Matt has got to fit our doorbell. Yes. Right, we end this video here. I want to say thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.